In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to replicate the color correction workflow of Adobe Premiere's Lumetri Color Tab in Final Cut Pro. And the best part is there's no plugins required. I, like probably many of you, learned color correction in the Lumetri Color Tab because it's a simple and intuitive color correction workflow that removes the hassle and confusion about how to layer corrections. And when I made the switch about three or four years ago to using Final Cut Pro almost exclusively, I wanted to make sure that the color correction workflow inside of Final Cut could be just as simple and intuitive as it was in the Lumetri Color tab for Premiere. So if you're a Final Cut user looking to up your color correction game, or you're someone who's familiar with and enjoys the Lumetri Color tab inside of Premiere, but you're curious about making the switch to Final Cut or how you would replicate that workflow in Final Cut, this video is gonna be for you. For those of you that are new around here, my name's Riley and I'm a documentary filmmaker that likes talking all things filmmaking and creativity. I'm also someone that likes to shoot on Sony cameras and do some occasional deep dives into filmmaking features and workflows like this one. So if any of that interests you, be sure to subscribe and follow along. It would mean a lot and it's also the best way to help support this channel. All right, let's dive in. All right, so I'm here at my desk and I'm gonna walk you through the basics of just how the Lumetri Color tab is set up and then how I've set up uh, my version of it in Final Cut and uh, we can go over all that. Uh, but real quick, if you're wondering, you know, what is this behind me? Um, yes, that is yarn. Uh, my wife uh, graciously lets me uh, be in her space, um, putting my filmmaking uh, and office kind of stuff in her sewing studio. So. Thank you to my lovely wife for letting me invade your space and record these YouTube videos. All right, let's dive in here. I've got uh, Premiere pulled up just to show you uh, the Lumetri Color tab and kind of what I mean by the uh, the way it's layered and ordered. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with the Lumetri Color tab if you're watching this video. Um, but basically, it's got a very intuitive way that things are layered and the stuff on top is gonna affect everything below it. And it's the reason why that more targeted kind of finesse corrections like a vignette or this secondary you know, targeted correction is at the bottom because if you were making uh, kind of a, a correction that's gonna impact everything like a tran like a rec 709 transform to a log footage or an adjustment to your uh your white balance you want those things to impact everything else uh, and you want all of your other creative corrections to be built off of those things so that's why basically the order is set up the way that it is. You know, you've got an input LUT here, um, you add your creative LUT after that, um, and then you can kind of go back and forth, um, change, you know, exposure, uh, contrast, change your white balance, um, change your tint, your saturation, um, you know, all those sorts of things. And if you make the corrections on an adjustment layer like I do, it'll impact all of these clips. So all these clips will have the same correction. Um, and then what you can do is um, go ahead and select, you know, a clip uh, and you can make some kind of secondary correction. So you can see here that just by default at 100%, uh, his skin tones are way too saturated. And so if I come off of the adjustment layer, because I like the color in these other scenes, but not this one, um, I can just bring down the saturation to you know a point that I, I like uh, and that I'm comfortable with. And uh, the corrections here, because it's layered below it, is not gonna impact the adjustment layer, which is impacting the rest of the clips, if that makes sense. And so I really like the way that this is set up kind of having basic exposure and uh, white balance corrections here, having basically your LUT in this creative tab, curves, wheels, and then kind of targeted corrections at the very end. And so if I jump over to Final Cut, you'll see that I have my uh, color correction effects set up in a very similar way. If I select this color grade template, drag it over here, 
this is what's going to pop up. Now, the LUT's already populated because I've been working on this clip, uh, but it's basically going to have color wheels, which inside of the color wheels has temperature, uh, tint, and it's going to have um, kind of basic exposure and saturation and uh, color white balance type corrections that you can do, which is why I put it first and above the LUT because it's ordered that way inside of uh, Lumetri. And so when you add uh, a LUT, you can kind of make those, um, you know, exposure corrections um, uh, underneath those similarly to how you would um, in Lumetri. And then I've added curves below that, um, which as you can see, I have, uh, you know, an adjustment to the shadows. Um, you can add color wheels again, um, and then you can add like a more targeted correction, which I don't have any set up here inside of this adjustment layer because I've done a lot more of those targeted corrections um, inside of the individual clips because I don't want these targeted corrections to impact the clips beside them um, because it's layered very similarly with an adjustment layer um, like how I was mentioning earlier with the Lumetri tab. And so if you select this clip, you can drag the same thing over uh, and this is what similarly will pop up. Um, I deleted the, um, the LUT tab off of it because I don't need that. Um, and then made a few other basic changes. Um, but basically what you'll see here is you can set up the order in a very similar way to how you would set up the, how the order is set up by default inside of the Lumetri color tab. And so you can do things very similarly in like I set up a targeted correction at the very end, um, kind of similar to how it would be here with kind of this hue and saturation luminance um, secondary tab. Um, you know, if you wanted to kind of target the sky, you could use uh, this panel here inside of Lumetri, um, select kind of these blue hues, um, and then just pull the luminance down and kind of add some of that contrast back in. Now, I did the same thing here with um, a basic like color curves uh, correction. And so if I jump inside here, I just pulled the midtones down in this masked off area. And the reason why it works is because it's the last correction in the chain, very similar to how the Lumetri color panel has that set up. Let's say you like the idea, you like the workflow and the process, you wanna set up your uh, final cut color correction preset to be uh, a similar way, um, easy to access for every project. You don't have to recreate um, this ordering like I did. You can save this as a, a default effects preset inside of Final Cut uh, so that it's there ready to go with each new project. And so as you see, I've got my color gray template set up to be the very first effect that shows up in this effects panel. So that's easy to just drag and drop over onto my timeline. So how do we set this up? Well, you are gonna have to first add the, uh, the order of the effects that you want um, inside of Final Cut. So you're gonna have to add wheels, LUT, curves, wheels, hue saturation curves, if you want it to be exactly like mine, or you can order them however you want. Um, I felt like this was pretty similar to the Lumetri workflow, which is why I created it the way I did. But you wanna make sure that you've blanked out all of the effects. So you wanna turn off uh, the LUT, you wanna make sure there's no like white balance corrections, no exposure saturation corrections. You wanna make sure that everything is uh, reset and then once everything is reset you can select all of them go over to file save video effects preset and then uh, just add make sure that the only the color correction effects are selected you don't want any of these others selected because um, all of those will be attached to this effects preset you can name it whatever you want hit save and then when you pull it up, just right click on it 
and say make default video effect. And when you do that, it'll be the very first one that shows up in your effects panel. Setting up this preset has saved me a ton of time. It's readily available for any and every project that I open up and I don't have to spend a bunch of time rebuilding um, and reordering those color correction tabs uh, for each project. So it's been a game changer for me. Hopefully for you, it saves you some time and kind of demystifies the color correction process inside of Final Cut a little bit. Um, if this helped you, I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Um, it's going to help more people find uh, this tutorial. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.